Hi everyone, I'm Bora and welcome to our channel. In this video, I will tell and show you where we took our daughter who was 2 years old at the time in Singapore. We chose solely based on reviews from local bloggers. And the first place we went to was a city pool with a playground for kids. Since we were living in HDB apartments, we didn't have a pool and other leisure activities, so we decided to go for the Active SG app. Our daughter loves to swim and this program gave us opportunity for a cheap and convenient location as all the sports facilities were in almost every part of the city. The next place was a must visit. We went to the Singapore Chinese History and Culture Exhibit. This place is my top kids friendly place where no adult or kid is bored. It's a unique exhibit where everything is interactive. You can touch, twist, click, open them, which for visitors with kids will be very interesting and don't have to worry about disturbing all the people. One day, we were invited by friends to Singapore Zoo. It's a huge zoological garden where you can see all the animals from a small fish to a big elephant. For a two-year toddler, this day was a great day. But last year, when Olivia was one year old, she wasn't particularly interested in such places. And after she turned two, she was already excited about every living thing. The zoo also had a water park for young visitors. I think it was a perfect decision to build it because the zoo is big and you walk under the hot sun. And we spent about six hours at the zoo where we saw animals, played in the water park, had lunch, took a nap, but we didn't see all the animals. So I think this place is a great place for multiple visits. This is huge! In fact, we avoided Universal Park for quite a long time because we thought that our child was too small for such places with a lot of people where you had to stand in line. But fortunately, or unfortunately, our friends bought tickets to Universal by mistake and couldn't go there. So they asked us to go there and the tickets wouldn't be wasted. So we went there. But it seems that our daughter is still very young. Firstly, she was completely unfamiliar with cartoons and characters, even though it was a weekday and even in the morning there were a lot of people. And during the day there were even more of them. So I advise you not to go during weekends or holidays and better to go in the morning. But we still had a great time. And finally, the most popular franchise of the aquarium is Sea Life. Olivia has already been to two Sea Life aquariums in Bangkok and in Singapore. Just look how delighted she was with every fish and sea creature! This is definitely the best place to visit for toddlers. Still, I think the best time and place for such young children is time with mom and dad in any playground. Thank you for watching and see you next time.